you don't learn anything from winning. You learn and you grow from losing. You learn and you grow from falling on your face again and again and again and finding the energy to pick yourself back up. Hello everyone, thank you so much for joining me here today. If you're new, I'm Amanda. Welcome to the channel where we are all about shattering the mental health stigma. If you haven't already, please make sure you make sweet, sweet love to that subscribe button. Give the bell a few kisses so you're not missing any of this content designed to help you with your mental health or help you help someone else. If you want further insights, you can follow me on Instagram at Mental Amanda. You can also message me there. Today I'm going to be reacting to Oliver Anthony Richmond, north of Richmond. It's a little bit of a tongue twister. I don't know what I'm getting myself into here. I have no idea uh, what this music is, but it was requested a lot here in the comments. So I'm curious and I want you guys to know that I listen. So here we go. Let's find out where you're taking my horizons to today. Well, I've been selling my soul, working all day, overtime hours. Bullshit pay so I can sit out here and waste my life away Drag back home and drown my troubles away It's a damn shame what the world's gotten to yeah. For people like me, people like you Wish I could just wake up and it not be true But it is, oh it is I just want to touch real fast. This looks like a pretty short song, so I want to touch a little bit. So uh, Washington, D.C. is north of Richmond, so I'm assuming that this is a call out to the uh, policymakers, to the people of power, but pretty much what us poor working class people have been saying for years and years on end. I've always said that a time card is like a contract with the devil. It's like a deal with the devil because you earn money that you never have time to spend on anything you enjoy, basically to pay for a house that you also never get to enjoy or spend time in. Um, but I like how it presents a choice, at least here with this, because it says, uh, I, I can sit here and waste my life and drown my troubles, right? He said that, um, presumably, obviously, in alcohol, been there. But I can also find other ways. So that's kind of the implication there that I got. I don't like to get into politics per se, but this is something I can very much relate to as someone who's really been struggling financially. In the new world, with an Oh my god! Just miners on an island somewhere. Lord, <gasps> we got folks in the street, ain't got oh. nothing to eat, and the whole beast milking welfare. Oh. Well, God, if you're five foot three and you're 300 pounds, taxes ought not to pay for your bags of fudge rounds. <laughs> Young men are putting themselves six feet in the ground, because all this damn country does is keep on kicking them down. Oh, that went from laugh to dark real fast, but oh my gosh, I, I loved the New World and Old Soul reference because I felt for so long like I'm this old fogey that's reminiscing on how things were back in the good old days, you know, and the way the world is crushing our mental health here in this country. I mean, I think that it's something that a lot of people can relate to, but specifically here in this country, I just think it's constant stress, it's constant worry and anxiety. It's it's so hard to survive in this world, I think. And it seems to really have declined in the past few decades. It seems like it's really trying to drag us down. This guy is sure not afraid to call out BS. I love it. Plus, it just makes me feel kind of homey because I'm from Missouri, so I love a little bit of good country. But uh, there's the talking about minors, which I think 
the first reference of miners was kind of representing the middle class, uh, the working man, you know, uh, is a miner, a coal miner, but then it transitions to um, that's not the priority because politicians are always involved in one scandal or another because there's a lot of politicians that are have been involved with uh, miners on islands like Bill Clinton, uh, and they just kind of have their scandal of the week. And I completely agree that nutrition assistance programs should not cover junk food because it just kind of creates this vicious cycle making these individuals more reliant on the system uh, when the inevitable health complications start arising from the fudge rounds as he said it's like the junk food but the part that broke me was the young men keep putting themselves six feet in the ground because this country keeps keeps kicking them down. This is something we don't talk about enough. Um, this is pointing out the the prevalence of male suicide, which is two thirds of all suicides. So it's drastically higher for males. Um, and I think that this is is really high because society, our society here, just kind of tells men to shut up, man up, stop crying, and doesn't listen to their struggles. And that's a big part of why this community exists. That's why I created this channel is to give you guys an opportunity to open up and share and talk and be heard and be seen. Lord, it's a damn shame what yeah. the world's gotten to for people like me, for people like you. Wish I could just wake up and it not be true, but it is. you do and then i don't think you know but i know that you do because your dollar ain't shit and it's taxed to no end cause the rich men know the rich men Selling my soul, working all day, Puppy. overtime hours for bullshit pay. Oh. <laughs> you know, I will say I really love that we have these artists that are just calling out the system and calling out the leaders. And I think that's beautiful that people are speaking up because he's right. You know, we're, we are working ourselves into the ground for peanuts. And I don't know uh, if this guy was just someone that decided to pick up a guitar and post a video on youtube and it went viral or if he actually has a record label or what the case is man give a guitar to a redneck and i say that lovingly because i grew up in missouri and I, my long hair don't hide my redneck there's a part of me that will always be a missouri gal but uh, you give a redneck a guitar and let them let them speak and a lot of times the stuff that comes out is stuff that we can all relate to see this isn't something I probably wouldn't post this if I felt it was super political, but this isn't something that's political. This is social. This is something that affects all of us. It doesn't matter what our stance is politically. It doesn't matter what our creed or our color or any of that is, our, our gender. This is something that's affecting all of us at this point. And I've said many times that I wish I could just go back to the 90s to talk about going back. I just wish I could go back to those, the simpler time, you know? Um, and I used to think it was just being an adult that was so mentally draining, but no. No, it's the system. It's our system here. I have friends in other countries that just can't fathom our work weeks, our work hours, our cost of living, the cost of education, the for-profit prison system, all these things that are just kind of bass backwards. But I could go on and on. The bottom line is this affects our mental health, um, especially for the poor and working class. I do think that there are wealthier individuals that are affected by this in certain ways, but this is really, this is really an anthem for us poor working class people who struggle, who our lives are dictated by policymakers. Uh, in this case, he's saying the, the men north of Richmond are, are 
lives are dictated by these people and we struggle just to get by and they keep taxing us more and more and more and they keep uh, hitting us harder and harder and harder and it seems like you can't keep up anymore. That's how I felt the last few years as I try to be responsible and everything, but I just can't seem to keep up. I just can't seem to stay afloat. It's really challenging. And I want you guys to know that this is an open forum to talk. Please stay uh, respectful in the comments. I know that songs like this can really kick up a lot of emotion and people can start arguing politically. No, guys, let's come together because as I said, this is an issue that can affect all of us. So let's talk lovingly and acceptingly in the comments, but share your story. Good, bad, and crazy, that's how we shatter the mental health stigma is by talking about it. So talk about how these things have affected you. Let's have a conversation. Let's let our voices be heard. And as I said, make sure that you make sweet, sweet love to that subscribe button. Thanks guys for uh, suggesting this to me. I'm feeling very energized now to speak out. I've been in this mode of just wanting to speak out and stand up for myself and for you know the community and society these past few months i've been feeling extra motivated and songs like this that really make me think okay i'm not alone in being frustrated so that's a good reminder thank you for that reminder i love you guys and i'll see you soon Mwah!